The worst part about autumn and winter in Vancouver and really all of Canada is that the sun doesn't rise until quite late each day. It stays dark and that makes it really tough to get out of bed in the morning. So I made this alarm clock with LEDs to simulate a sunrise. When it's time to get up, the LEDs start with a deep blue and then go through all the colors of the sunrise. Finally they settle on daylight. Works pretty well. This project actually started out years ago. It was a glowing sign for my old band Beekeeper. To convert it, I put uh, RGB LEDs, uh, the WS2812 uh, individually controllable LEDs, in, uh, into the enclosure, and designed a new circuit board based on the ESP8266 microcontroller to run the software. So let's have a look inside. To open it up, uh, it's just a bunch of screws on the back and the back panel comes off and uh, all the electronics and LEDs are mounted to this board here. So we've got both the WS2812 strips as well as white strips all wired in here. And everything's wired back down to uh, my Party Cat lighting controller based on the ESP8266. And then a couple of power supplies uh, these LEDs take a lot of power, so I actually use two supplies and partition the lights between them. The Party Cat uh, lighting controller is a board that I designed and uh, wanted to make it useful for this project and other projects like it. So it combines the ESP8266 uh, with all the bits and bobs that um, need to run it, uh, pull up and pull down resistors. Uh, and I made almost everything on one side so that you could actually just put this down and, uh, and solder the strips right to it. Um, here's an ASP8266. And what else we have here? So a couple of these uh, WS2812 LEDs solder right to the board. Uh, there's a footprint for that. Uh, let's see, we've got um, a power MOSFET to run the white LED strips. logic level converter to convert the 3.3 uh, logic level from the ESP8266 to 5 volt logic level uh, required by the, um, the, LED, the WS2012 LED strips. With the electronics all working, I gave it a few coats of white paint and put a French cleat system on the back so I could uh, hang it more easily. And that's the project finished. I'll leave links below to the firmware on GitHub and uh, circuit board on Oshpark and a few other resources.